Hello and welcome to Guider's Gun Guide. It's been a while, hasn't it guys? So, uh, where have I been? Uh, I've actually had a few people reach out to me and ask uh, if I was still kicking. So, um, if y'all remember, last video was unboxing of my uh, nice new Hotson uh, Flash Pup in 177. Super excited. Uh, my brother-in-law and co-business owner of Nexteris Atlanta Northwest uh, bought it for me uh, for Christmas. So, day after Christmas, 26 December, I come down with a horrible fever and body aches. Uh, go get tested. Sure enough, I got the Rona, right? So, <laughs> so I spend the next 10 days uh, just not loving too much of life, give or take. And um, uh, in that time period, I actually... Uh, you know, after, I don't know, day six or seven, starting to get cabin fever, still feeling like, you know, not great. And uh, I did get out and did shoot the shoot my new air rifle. I, I was super excited and it was killing me not to. So I got out, shot, uh, shot a tank. Um, did a little bit with my nifty new FX air guns uh, wireless chronograph. I'm loving it, by the way, guys. Absolutely loving that thing. Um, I've got a Caldwell, and unless, you know, lighting conditions are just right and we're in the right phase of the moon and everything like that, um, it, it really can it can have some difficulty. Um, if, if things are just right and you've got it set up good, it works. Okay, don't get me wrong, it, it works, um, but you got to really make sure things right. Uh, the FX uh, wireless chronograph, a little easier on you. Uh, a little more forgiving so you see it I got it strapped to the end of the barrel here using a couple of my wife's uh, you know hair bands or whatever and um, so yeah I shot a tank of uh, through it really uh, really was impressed with the velocities I was getting shot count um, I don't remember what it was I was just outside fun right being sick shooting having a good time so I've reset up here I'm at my 20, 17, 20, about 20 yard position here. And um, maybe it's a little over 20. I can't remember. I'm going to have to remeasure. But uh, yeah, so today what I'm going to do is we're going to do velocity and shot count. Um, not going to really, you know, the accuracy, believe me, was there uh, when I was shooting. But, you know, having only put one tank of air through it, I don't want to do the do the gun a disjustice yet, um, but it, it's shooting good. Okay, don't don't get don't get crazy on that one. But it, it actually shoots very well. Very happy, uh, very happy with the with the first round of shooting. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get to it. And basically, this is gonna be a super short video. Not my normal, <laughs> right? Not my normal. Uh, so you go. Wait, hang on. Ten days of Rona. That was December, right? January, where you been? So I also started uh, retire my retirement process from the U.S. Army. Yay! Uh, we'll be officially retired one December of this year. And any of y'all out there that's ever gone through this knows that it's almost a full-time job all in itself. Um, and on top of that, uh, working with my brother-in-law to uh, create our, our stand up our business. So, you know, small business entrepreneurs, right? So, unfortunately, air gunning had to get put to the side for a while. I finally got some gorgeous weather. I mean, it's blue skies out here in Augusta. You can see it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you see the sun on my face and everything. You hear the birds. It's, it's beautiful out here. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, uh, that's where I've been. That's what we're going to be getting to today. And uh, what I'm shooting, uh, I've had I've had good luck with these uh, in my um, well, actually in several other air rifles. Uh, they seem to be pretty good, pretty good shooters. These are Air Arms Diabolo, field heavy, 10.3 grains, um, made by you know they're they're manufactured by JSB, uh, made in the Czech Republic. You see here on the back, um, and the JSB I forget the exact nomenclature, but it's their 10. Point three four grain I think is what it is same guys um, these just come off of one die or one set of dies or one machine or it, it, it's limited it's just for it it only comes out of that for air arms um, 
I guess uh, JSB has a bunch of other dies and machines that they do the rest of their pellets with, but Air Arms, they've got their own product line uh, or manufacturing line there at JSB. In theory, that produces a more consistent pellet. I've not tested that theory yet, at least with my guns, because I also have the JSB versions of these, and I've got the, um, the FX, is it FX that also has these? I'm trying to remember. Anyway, um, I haven't tested all those to see if there's any appreciable uh, accuracy differences. Um, but, you know, all that would tell you is what my gun likes, right? As we all know in, in, in air guns, um, you know, one guy will tell you, hey, look, I, I sh you know, I buy the, the cheap wad cutter or pointed daisy pellets that y'all have seen them, right? The quality control on those things looks horrible, right? But some people, they swear by them, right? That, hey, my gun shoots them great. I'm, you know, I'm bullseyeing womp rats in my T-13 back home. Um, you know, just putting them through the eyes of squirrels or whatever. And, you know, other people say, hey, look, my gun doesn't like anything except, you know, the most uh, expensive whatever, okay? So every, every gun's different, every shooter's different, right? Every scenario's different. So um, these are just what I found right off the bat work well in this gun. I've not tried too many other pellets, though, okay? So this gun might actually shoot something else even better than this. So today is just, like I say, I just want to see energy levels, velocity, uh, and, and, and shot count on a fill. Um, I'm sitting here at the max fill on the Hudson, 200 bar, good to go. Um, and we're gonna get to it. Shut up and shoot, Ben, right? That's what we like to say, that's what we like to hear. Um, like I say, super short video. You're gonna see some shot strings and stuff after this, just some data, maybe I'll do a closeout statement, who knows. All right, we'll see you on the other side, guys. All right, so this thing's slinging some lead fast, isn't it? Uh, over a thousand FPS with uh, 10.3 grain pellets. I ran inside, uh, shot through that full tank, got it refilled, got some lunch, let it set, you know, topped it off real good, and decided I'm going to give the JSB Exact Monster redesign 13.43 uh, grains. Uh, we're going to give those a shot, see what that does with our velocities. Um, I was seeing some, as the velocity shifted, point of impact shifted, um, there was a point there where it looked like, um, you know, really in that transonic region, uh, it, it looked like I was really hitting those, that destabilizing effect uh, between here and my target. Uh, once I got below, things, some stuff started to tighten back up, but my point of impact continued to shift, so I don't know. Um, we're going to give this a shot. Uh, accuracy was great in the first mm, 14 to 28 shots, give or take two mags. Um, pretty consistent, pretty accurate with those, those uh, Air Arms 10.3. So, uh, yeah, we're going to pop these off and I'm going to see what's up. All right, well, um, put 28 shots there for the monster redesign. Uh, still slinging it over 900 FPS with them. Um, a lot of power in this gun. The uh, trigger, um, the stock trigger, I've not made any adjustments to it. It's, it's, uh, it's got a pretty, pretty heavy pull. Um, it's two stages. It really, it's hard. For, here's the thing. Uh, it's a it's a bullpup design and bullpups uh, some of y'all know the the trigger sear hammer engagement isn't all you know right together on each other right there's usually like a really direct engagement point there with with non bullpup designs 
bullpup designs introduce uh, some sort of rod or linkage between the trigger and towards the rear of the uh, of the action is going to be um, is going to be your sear and your hammer and that sort of thing. Um, and what it feels like is the first stage, if you want to call it that. It feels like it it's basically just taking up some sort of slack in that system. And then you actually get to the trigger pull itself, which is itself, it's, it's really a one stage, I guess, pretty long, I don't know. There, there's some travel to it. Um, it's smooth, uh, but it is heavy. So um, this is supposed to have a quattro trigger. Uh, I'm going to, and there's some screws and some stuff when I first got it that I noticed that maybe how I adjust this. I'm going to try to adjust it, get the trigger a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. I think that's actually going to help my groups. Um, the groups aren't terrible, but they're nothing, they're not great. Uh, they're nothing to write home about. Um, you know, at their, you know, they're minute a squirrel brain at 20 yards. I mean, if I, if I, if I wanted to or had to, I could, I could drop a squirrel at this distance, especially the velocity that I've got, you know, um, the type of energy this thing's putting out. You know, I'd happily, I'd happily take a body shot, um, you know, right behind the arm. Well, you know, go for the heart, heart, lungs, whatever. Um, and I think this would, this would be more than, than ample for a humane kill at, at 20 yards, and especially at the, the, the kill zone, uh, uh, at the, at the accuracy that I'm getting from this. Um, I would not want to right now. My comfort level with the gun and everything else, I wouldn't take it out further than this if I were if I were doing small game hunting um, that's me though okay that's just me that's not commentary on the gun um, I've got to get I'm gonna get the trigger adjusted put some more time behind it um, I mean the trigger is heavy enough by stock that my finger pad is actually uh, I'm not gonna say bruised but it is sore um, that's that's really how heavy this thing is so um, uh, I, I'm gonna put some time on it uh, get that trigger adjusted. Hopefully, get it down to like the the gauntlet is a is just a super. You know, I got that down to a just a. It doesn't even move. It just breaks. Right. You put pressure on it, about two pounds and change, pop. Right. Absolute pleasure to shoot. Tack driver. Once I got the trigger adjusted on that gauntlet, it really was it was tack driving. Um, and I I'm pretty sure this is going to do something similar. So I just got to get it adjusted and and get myself comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I, if I wanted to do 20 yard small game hunting with this right now, there's so much power in this. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, it's, it's really ridiculous. I'm gonna have to run the math on it, but you know, 950, 960, 970, I think it was somewhere in there feet per second with uh, 13.43 grains. Um, some of y'all can probably do that math in your head. I can't, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good energy levels. Uh, that's at the muzzle. So. Uh, let's see what else what else uh, I'm enjoying it loving this gun lots of fun real fun to shoot shoulder everything like that so anyway uh, thanks for uh, watching my first video back from the Rona and a whole bunch of other real life stuff you know coming up uh, first video of 2021 uh, I wish everyone a excellent and prosperous year uh, let's let's make it better than 2020 uh, I know that's not a really high bar I'm setting, but, you know, let's do it, all right? Let's keep it positive. So, anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Please um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.